Lesson 1. What is the difference between area and surface area in under four minutes? Wish me luck. Well, let's look at some familiar shapes. A slope built on a right triangle is called a wedge. We'll be using that. Take two circles and wrap a tube around to connect them together and you have a cylinder. And of course, the familiar box. Each of these can be wrapped, say, with paper. And the amount of paper needed to wrap them is the surface area. A quick look at area. Here's a rectangle. And if I cut it up into, let's say, one, two, three, four columns and three rows, then area is this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. The area is the number of tiles needed to cover that shape. And how do you get it? Well, simply this way. If you can't see the tiles because they're not marked, just put a ruler up against it and measure the distance. In this case, the length, but also the width. So the length is 4 and the width is 3. Three, and together they give the area, which is the number of tiles. If you have a circle, then it can be a little bit more difficult because if there's no grid on the circle, well, wait a minute, what if there is a grid on the circle? One, two, three, four. It's possible to count up some of the tiles easily this one and that one, this one. But here we don't actually have a complete tile. Look at this one. This is about half of a tile, maybe less. This is perhaps more. So it can be a little bit more tricky. We use the formula that the area, which is the number of tiles, is equal to pi times the radius squared. So the radius is the distance from the center to the edge. And that gives us the tiles. Quite amazing, really. OK, that's area. What is surface area? Well, suppose that I use rectangles and uh, circles, and I make a cylinder. There's a circle on the top, a circle on the bottom, and a wall. Well, the area, the surface area, is just the area of the top and the bottom using this formula. But also, it's the area of the wall. If you had a can of soup, then the paper going around the can, the area of that would be added in to give the areas of the walls. So this wall, in fact, is a rectangle wrapped around two circles. Let's go down here. Here's the rectangle. I've cut it and rolled it flat. So we get the area. Again, by measuring the length and the width and counting up the tiles, this circle on the top goes right here or anywhere. It touches the top and also the bottom circle is there as well. It has an area. Both the areas of these circles are identical. So if I add, suppose, let's just suppose, give it some numbers. Let's suppose this was 15 centimeters squared and then so that would be the same 15 centimeters squared. I'm just making these numbers up. Suppose this was 20 centimeters squared. Then the surface area of this cylinder would be 15 plus 20 plus 15 again 50 tiles 50 centimeters squared. Surface area is a measure of the total area on the outside of an object. Find the surface area by adding together all the outside faces. Well, please move on and try the guided practice for lesson one. Or if you would like more review on area, look at one of the resources. Thanks very much.